Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to build your own email validator using Google Apps Script. If you have a huge list of email and before sending any email, if you just want to validate whether the list is legitimate and uh, whatever the email that is given on the list is able to receive the message, then you can use the script to do the validation. So we are going to use a third party validator uh, which gives a response in the form of API and we are going to read the response and populate it over here. And that's what we are going to see in this video. And this is sample email list that I'm having. And let me give you an overview of these headers. First one, did you mean? So if you enter any email and if it find that this email is invalid and if there is an any related email address in the same name with slightly misspelled it will provide that as a suggestion here and it will list which domain this email belongs to and is in valid format so it just check uh, the q1 email address is in a valid format and this mx and smtp check whether the email is eligible to receive the email from any person and this check whether the email address is a free or a paid so most commonly the custom domains are a paid one and gmail yahoo these are all related to free domain and the email score so it will tell you uh, uh, the spam score for the given email address starting from zero to one it rate depend upon the email id and if there is an, any exception it will populate it over here so this is the AP key that you need to uh, put it on the settings tab and I will give you a link in the YouTube description where you can get your free AP key. So don't try to use this AP key because I'm going to reset it after I'm done with the video. So let's begin. Go to tools and script editor. Let's name this project as email validator. So let's create some global variable. First, I need to uh, create a sheet object. Let's name this as sheet obj. And in this sheet ob, we are going to get the active spreadsheet object. Let's create an object for this two tab, settings tab and email validator tab. Let's name this as settings tab. And the name of the settings tab is settings chest enter that here and now create one more object for validator tab and copy the tab name and put it over here so we are going to loop the email list from the row 2 to till the last row so we need to determine the last row of uh, this validator trap let me create a variable name last row validator and it should be from the object validator tab dot get last row so it return the last row of this email validator tab and we need one global variable for getting the ap key from the settings tab so it should be settings tab dot get range and this ap key is present in the row one of column two so it should be one comma two and to get the value you have to use a method get value so that's it we are done with a global variable now let's uh, name this uh, function as check email validator Let's add one more global variable called UI because uh, we are going to call this fun function from the custom menu. So just to create the custom menu, I'm using this global variable spreadsheet app dot get UI. Okay. So in this function, we are going to check each and every email in our list. So we have to create a for loop starting from two to last row of this validator tab so 
so we have created a for loop and let's create a variable to get the email address during each iteration let me name this variable as email and it should be from the validator tab dot get range and this row should be taken care by the uh, iteration variable and the email list is present in the column one so let me give one and get value so it will return the email id during each iteration so now we got the email id and now we have to call api so to call an api we need uh, the api url so let's create a variable for url and this is the format of the url and this is the sample response that we got if we provide the email address as a parameter here let me copy this one and paste it here so we need to make some adjustment because of we are reading this ap key from uh, the settings tab and we are passing the email id from the email validator tab so we need to change those two things as a variable let's change that to api key and just change the email address alone to this variable email so that's it we are done with an url and now let's make an ap call i will create a variable called fetch and let's use a class name url fetch app to make an ap call and use the method fetch pass the url here So now we have to check the response code before we are reading the JSON value. So it should be fetch dot get response code. So the success response is 200. So just validate that uh, the response from the API is 200. So now it's time to read the response. Let me create a variable called response and we are getting the response in the form of json so let's create json.parse statement and parse uh, the response inside the json.parse statement so that we can able to parse and locate the object notation inside the json so to get uh, the um, a response you use which dot get context text so which return this json object the complete json object and now it's time to populate the json on your google sheet so to populate that you have to use the validator tab dot get range and row should be taken care by the iteration variable and the first column is a did you mean it's a second one so just put here and here we need to set the value so use a method set value and go to response and here we are just checking did you mean so try to match the did you mean here so this is the object name of did you mean copy that and put it over here so that's it and we have to repeat the same for one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven times. Okay, just change that to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So the next one is a domain name, and the object name is domain. Put that here and is in valid format is the next one the object name is format valid put that over here and the next one is mx and smtp so this is the object name put that here and for smtp check this is the object name put that here and the last two is is it free email and email score so this is the free email check and your email score object name is just the score so this 9 is responsible for exception so we no need to 
put that on the success one so just add an else block which means uh, if the response is not 200 it will go in the else block and just mention that exception occurred so it will just say the exception occurred for a particular row if anything happened so we are done with a core logic right now now it's time to create a custom menu so that we can run the script right from your google sheet so let's create a function called function on open so this function will execute whenever you launch this google sheet and we need to add the custom menu on this on open function because we need to populate the custom menu as soon as a user open this google sheet so we already created an object ui to, sh uh, to access uh, all the methods in the ui and use that one and create menu let's name this menu as email validator and in this menu we need to add an item and the menu item name is run email validator and the function name should be this one we just need to call this function when user select this run email validator and finally you need to add this to ui so that it will populate on the ui so that's it we are done with all the logics now it's time to check whether it's running or not so if you reload the page you can see the custom menu here it will take a couple of seconds to populate just wait for that so now if you see that uh, email validator custom menu is created and here you can see the menu option run email validator just click on that and you can see that it's running the script and when you're running it for the very first time you need to give an authorization Just click on the allow now the authorization is successful so once you authorize that you need to uh, run it again so if you see it started validating the list uh, within a few seconds so except this one uh, all other email are valid one and you can see the uh, match email here and the domain and the format and here you can see mx and smtp check so uh, for this email uh, the smtp check is false so you cannot send an email to this uh, address you can take it away from your list and if you want to sort by list you can do so so 0 0.7 0 0.8 is a good score anything uh, below that is like a spam email so it's up to you how you're going to use that so none of the exception has happened over here so that's it now you learned how to build your own email validator i am giving this google sheet for free you can get it from the google description and make use of uh, this uh, google sheet and all you need to do is just replace uh, this AP key with your own AP key that you can uh, get it from the link I have given in the YouTube description. Just put that AP key and run the script. That's it. It will start validating your email list. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubt, just drop your doubts in the comment section. And if you like this video, give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye bye.